Round two of the Hyper Liquid airdrop could be even bigger than the first, and there are many protocols within the Hyper EVM chain ready to launch an airdrop, so that's why we're here to provide you with a 10 in 1 airdrop tutorial within the Hyper Liquid ecosystem. So, before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and let's dive straight into it. And so it begins. We have got a lot to cover, so why don't we dive straight into the airdrop tutorial, and the first place we're going to start is the Hyper Liquid exchange itself. So once we're ready, guys, as we can see, we want to enter. Next, we need to get our logged in of which we're going to be using our EVM compatible wallet and we're going to be using the same wallet through the entire video in order to maximize our airdrop allocation. Once you've got yourselves logged in we now want to head up to the top where we're going to the portfolio section. Next we want to deposit so we can very simply use Hyperliquid. Now we can use a chain of our choice so it could be Arbitrum, it could be Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana and there are more coming soon. But to keep it simple why don't we use Arbitrum, a nice cheap friendly Ethereum layer 2. So we need to switch to Arbitrum and we also need to have USDC in order to provide assets on this platform. So if you need to swap, you can head over to Uniswap and therefore, as you can see, I'm just going to quickly swap to Arbitrum and quickly get myself some USDC tokens so I can use the Hyperliquid exchange. Now, I've already done this in the past, guys, because we've provided you with an airdrop tutorial on the Hyperliquid exchange because we want to maximize our airdrop on Hyperliquid and therefore, by utilizing the main exchange itself, we are going to definitely help ourselves. Now, I don't think doing $15 in volume is going to help whatsoever but by utilizing it as much as possible and by coming on here every single day stacking up transactions and building volume we can help ourselves at least get a small allocation now after you've got your usdc tokens guys you can now transfer them over to the trading section if of course you want to trade me myself because i'm not a trader i don't really focus much on this exchange however guys for those who do this could be a great opportunity for you to get a massive airdrop by stacking up the volume that you do from trading however like i said guys I don't do this myself and therefore if you want to do this by all means check out other traders of which can help you but myself guys I'm here just to show you that there are other things that you can do other than trading but if you wanted to do this so that you can see you would select the perps to spot choose an amount that you want to transfer over whether or not that's $15 x y and z you can move it over to spot and then you'll be able to open up market and limit orders however you wish also, guys, you can check out the vaults as well. So in the past, I've actually deposited into the HLP, which you can see here. And you can see that I've deposited $21. I've earned $1.14 from this HLP, which is absolutely fantastic, considering I haven't put that much. The past month APR was 13%, which is absolutely incredible. And you can see people are earning nice passive income from this protocol. However, guys... Basically, what you want to do is utilize this as much as possible. If you want to come on here and stake as much as possible, this will definitely help you to earn an airdrop allocation as for those who stake are securing the hyperliquid ecosystem and network. So I'm going to leave it short and sweet, guys. But if you want to see a full tutorial on the hyperliquid exchange, we'll leave that in the description down below. But this is the first step to qualify for the airdrop. And this is the first airdrop hyperliquid. So what we want to do is now, my friends, we now want to focus on the next section so that we can start qualifying for many other airdrops. This is stage one and the first part of the airdrop, which is going to qualify us for hype. We now want to start moving into the hyper EVM ecosystem to maximize our hype airdrop allocation and of course qualify for other airdrops along the way within the ecosystem. So our first stop guys is going to be a legendary decentralized exchange aggregator and cross chain aggregator, which is going to be jumper exchange. Now this is a DEX aggregator of which enables us to move assets to and from a variety of different networks. And therefore, if you would like to use this by all means you can, and this is another airdrop we can qualify for. Now, the first step of what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm actually going to move assets to the Hyper EVM network. Why? Because I just want to show you how to get assets over there and I want to show you how to qualify for another airdrop along the way. Whether or not you wanted to use another layer 2 to move assets over to Hyper EVM, you can do so. But for example, if I wanted to move assets from Optimism, I could very well just choose my Ethereum tokens, come down here, choose the Hype network, choose the hype tokens to deposit into and boom for example if i wanted to do i don't know 15 dollars again i could very well choose this and very simply get assets so i could use gas.zip and it's now going to give us another airdrop along the way and this is one that i'm not even counting on the list of which we provided so although this is not going to help you qualify for the hyper liquid airdrop just yet i will show you how to make sure that you're qualifying by utilizing apps like jumper and it's quite simple guys because basically you want to stack up transactions on the hyper evm network and therefore all you're going to want to do is, seeming as we're here, we're now going to toggle it on reverse. So we have the hype on the from section and we're on the hyper EVM. That's very important because we are now going to be stacking up a transaction on hyper EVM and building up volume. 
Next, we can either A, cross-chain swap to another network, whether that's Linear, Sonium, Solana, Unichain, or whatever, or you could very well do a native swap on Hyper EVM in order to get those transactions, like I was saying, and swap into other tokens. So, for example, if I wanted to swap into more USDT0, I could very well just choose, I don't know, 0.1 Hype to swap into. And here on the right-hand side, you can see a few options of which we can swap from. So we could help ourselves qualify for the LiFi airdrop, or down below, although it's not the best rates, you can see that we would get 1.5x multiplier points on Hyperbloom just by swapping using this. So why wouldn't I do that? That's going to help me qualify for another airdrop because Jumper is using them as a DEX option. Fantastic. Now, this is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. We can utilize protocols such as Jumper to help us qualify for multiple airdrops as well. So by doing so, by doing this one transaction, that's helped us qualify for the Hyper EVM airdrop and the Jumper airdrop. Fantastic, and a little bonus one, Hyperbloom, which I've never heard of. I'm just going to leave that, guys. I'm not even going to go over to Hyperbloom because I have no idea what it is. But if I somehow get an airdrop and I somehow see it on my path, I'll be back. But we've now added that to our list, and you can now utilize this protocol to help you qualify for the airdrop. The next place that we want to go to now that we've got our USDT Zero tokens is the official Hyperliquid Bridge. Now, why am I saying this bridge? Well, because it's amazingly partnered with Layer Zero, and Layer Zero is another huge airdrop of which we've been farming. For those who don't know, we've been farming the Layer Zero airdrop for a very long time. We qualified for the first one. It was absolutely incredible, and I'm here to qualify for the second. And we can also double up and qualify for the Hyperliquid airdrop as well by using the official Hyperliquid cross with Layer Zero Bridge, which I'm going to show you now. So once you're here, guys, as you can see, we want to get logged in once again. And this time we now want to bridge to the Hyper EVM network. And therefore, I'm going to choose any network down below of which you can see. So if I wanted to choose base, I could do so. I could very well choose any tokens down here. I could choose USDE to bridge over to Hyper EVM into USDE. Now, why is this one so good? Because we're helping ourselves qualify for the airdrop no matter which networks that we're using. Why is this? Well, because this is the official Hyperliquid bridge and therefore any volume that we do on any network compatible with this bridge should therefore help us with the hype airdrop. Now, of course, I could be completely wrong and you may just need to focus on the Hyper EVM network, but I do honestly believe this bridge will help us all in all. So we've now bridged over USDE to Hyper EVM. What I could now do is now that I've swapped my hype tokens on the Jumper Exchange, which you saw into USDT0, I can also bridge out of Hyper EVM with my USDT0 tokens that you can see here. So I could actually move them over to Base, Solana, whichever networks you can see down below. But let's just say as an example, I wanted to bridge over to, I don't know, Optimism. I could very well choose the USDT0 tokens, choose an amount that I want to bridge over, and boom, as you can see, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to bridge all of the USDT0 tokens from one network to another, helping me qualify for the Hyper EVM airdrop by stacking up volume on both the bridge and the network. So guys, that's exactly what we want to do with the Hyperliquid bridge. You can bridge back and forth using different assets. You can't exactly just use the ETH token, I believe. However, there are many other assets of which you can transfer from network to network. That is the next airdrop that we've covered in the next protocol, which is very crucial to qualify for two airdrops in one. And up next, my friends, we have got Hyperswap Exchange. And this is going to be the next stop to qualify for another airdrop on the Hyper EVM network. You want to get yourselves open on the application. You want to get yourselves logged in. Once you're over here, you just want to swap back and forth. So up top, you want to have the token as whichever token you're selling. Down below the token you want to buy into, and let's just say it was USDT0, choose an amount that you want to buy. Obviously, the more transactions and the more volume that you can stack up on Hyperswap, the better off you will be, and I'll show you that in the point section in a second. However, this is just the transaction that I'm doing just to show you exactly what I'm doing myself. And then as you can see over in the point section once this is done, which it is, and we go up top, down here you're going to see all the points that I've earned from Hyperswap. Now, it's not that much, and I haven't got a good ranking to be honest with you. However, by swapping and providing liquidity which is also another crucial factor you can help yourself qualify for an airdrop not only for hyper liquid but of course hyper swap so you can see here that i'm providing assets in a liquidity pool also you can explore other liquidity pools down here which are fantastic and you can check out some with crazy aprs such as this hype to usdt zero one but friends i will leave that for you here because we've got a full airdrop tutorial on hyper swap of which i'll leave in the description down below and we don't want to spend too much time here so instead we're going to move on to the next airdrop that we're going to focus on and that is going to be staked hype of which you want to get yourselves logged in once again 
Once you've done that, all we're going to do here is, guys, as you guessed it, stake some tokens if, of course, you want to do that. Now, remember, we're not financial advisors. We do not give any financial advice, and there are always risks with everything in the world of DeFi. So always conduct your own research and use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable. But once you're ready, guys, let's just say I wanted to deposit around $3 into Staked Hype. I can do so. I can earn some passive income. I can help myself qualify for the Staked Hype airdrop and, of course, the Hyper Liquid airdrop by conducting more transactions and exploring the ecosystem system as best as I can. So this is the next step and this is literally going to take us a few seconds. It will be left in the description down below. But up next guys, we're going to move straight onto the next protocol and this is going to be Felix and Felix is another fantastic protocol which we've covered in the past and if you'd like a full airdrop tutorial, you can check that in the description down below. Nonetheless, my friends, you can see your entire Hyper EVM portfolio here, which I've got $21 in the spot section, 15 in the perp section, and 137 on the Hyper EVM network. What I'm going to personally do is, guys, in the CDP section on the left-hand side, I'm going to head over to Stability Pools. Now, what you can do is you can deposit FEUSD, which is Felix USD, which is an important token in order to qualify for the airdrop, or for the Felix airdrop anyway, and you can deposit into any of these pools. So, step one, guys, if you wanted to do that, would be to head over to HyperSwap, of course get yourselves logged in in the swapping section on the right hand side you can see the hype token up top down below we want to toggle it as feusd if of course you want to do this i'm going to swap into another i don't know three dollars again i know it's basically the same amount over and over again guys but these are just small transactions to show you exactly what i'm doing but of course the more volume the better so i'm just going to do this i can now take those tokens back over to felix i can now choose any one of these pools i'm going to choose the hype one and i'm now just going to do three dollars worth and boom as you can see once that's done that is another transaction on another application and helping ourselves qualify for the Felix airdrop by depositing into their stability pools to help their ecosystem. So that's the next one, guys. We're just going to keep moving through them because we've got many airdrops to cover in this video and you want to be able to do this in one session at least a few times a week. So the next one is going to be Upshift. This is another one we've shown you on the Alt Crypto Talk YouTube channel. Once you're over here, guys, as you can see, we want to get ourselves logged in. If, of course, you want to use this one, all of them are optional, guys you don't have to use a single one but this is a big one with 363 million dollars in tvl now all you're going to want to do is either a stake deposit or check out your portfolio of which i have done i've deposited it into the hp hype of which is hyper beat ultra hype and is earning me some nice yield however you can see in the point system guys as well that we've got a point section of which you can earn i've only got 20 points earned so far but that's only because i've deposited around ten dollars and 58 cents down below, you can see the multipliers of which you can earn more points. So if this is what you want to do, by all means, you can check that out. But you can also follow our airdrop tutorial for Upshift directly. However, if, for example, you had a pool in mind, guys, it's entirely up to you which ones you wanted to do. But let's just say I wanted to do one of these featured ones, the Hyper Beat Ultra Hype. I would come over here. I'll very simply have to get myself W Hype tokens. And therefore, as you can see, I've already got 0.008, but it's not that much. So if you wanted to get more, you'd go over to HyperSwap or another exchange of some kind very well just choose the uw hype token which you can see there and just again choose an amount to swap into it could be a dollar this time it could be fifty dollars whatever you want it depends how much you want to put into that pool guys and of course how much volume that you want to conduct again everyone's budget is going to be different and therefore of just showing you as a tutorial so once you've done that we're now going to head back over to upshift just like i said we're now going to deposit and now as you can see if i enter the maximum amount i just now have to confirm it and boom we are good to go that is the next step done now as you can see my friends we've completed that one and we're going to move on to the next protocol of which we can utilize and up next my friends we have got sentiment and we've got another full airdrop guide on our youtube channel for you guys to check out it's got its own point system it's got borrowing leverage lending and so on so if you want to get yourselves acquainted you can check out that airdrop tutorial in the description down below however once you're here you just want to choose one of the pools or whichever you're doing to deposit into it doesn't matter you can just use your hype tokens and therefore i could very well just choose this hype super pool and you can see that if i wanted to deposit i don't know 0.08 again just going to choose the same pool and i'm going to deposit that amount in order to qualify for both the sentiment and hyper evm airdrop so guys i'm going to leave this one short and sweet we only wanted to get one little transaction done however we're going to move straight onto the next one which is actually a cross-chain protocol and you can utilize this to qualify for many airdrops including the protocol itself and that protocol is the relay network which you've seen us use multiple multiple times if of course you follow us however once you've got yourselves logged in guys you want to now very simply conduct swapping on the hyper evm network because this can be used as a decentralized exchange or a bridge to move assets to and 
from different networks. So say for example, I wanted to swap my hype tokens into another network on the Hyper EVM. We can very simply utilize this guys just like we did with Jumper. And therefore I'm just going to choose any of these tokens down below. It could very well be more USDE or it could be more rep staked hype or it could be hype. It could be whatever you guys want. I'm just going to choose USDT zero for my example. And I'm just going to do this time. I don't know, 0 0.28, $10 and 60 cents just going to swap it and boom as you can see it's a nice little transaction that we can do and you can very simply do this back and forth now you can also move assets to the hyper evm network by utilizing relay so for example if i wanted to now click this reverse button in the middle up top i'm going to choose another network so it could be linear and i could move some of my ethereum tokens over to hyper evm if i wanted to so if it was 280 dollars you could see i'd receive 7.4 hype evm tokens whether or not that was i don't know $30 is entirely up to you. You can do so. You can see that I can just swap it directly and boom, we're going to get the hype tokens directly on the Hyper EVM network. So, Fantastic guys, that is the next protocol we've shown you how to bridge to the Hyper EVM network and swap on the Hyper EVM network. After that guys, we are now moving on to Hyperlend, the last and 10th protocol of this video. However, we're going to give you a bonus one. But for now, we're on Hyperlend and all we want to do is very simply get ourselves logged in. As we can see, I'm getting myself logged in right now. After that, you can see my ranking in the top left, which is bronze, which is unfortunate, but we can obviously upgrade our ranking by utilizing this point system of which you can see down here. Obviously, I haven't earned that much. I've only earned 2.38 and I'm ranked 24,000th in the world. Not good at all, but all you need to do is participate in this platform in order to help yourself qualify for the airdrop. Whether that's through the HLP vault or whether or not that's just through markets in general, you can very simply choose the hype token if you wanted to. As you can see here, I could very well just choose, I don't know, 0.08 or I could do the whole entire amount. Whatever you guys want, you can just slide this little bar and boom, just choose an amount. So if I wanted to do that 0.086 for example boom exactly i'm going to do so fantastic another transaction another protocol which we're going to be earning points with and helping ourselves explore the hyper evm ecosystem so after that guys we've now used 10 protocols within the hyper evm ecosystem the last and final stop we want to show you for the 11th bonus protocol is layer 3 and layer 3 has their very own hyper evm ecosystem and for those who don't know we've had many airdrop tutorials on layer 3 however this is going to help you obviously qualify for the layer 3 airdrop and it's also going to help you explore the hyper evm ecosystem because it provides you with a whole bunch of different quests by utilizing different ecosystem protocols of hyper evm so for example guys down below you can see hyperpi you can see looped high you can see lemonar and you can see all the other ones that i've completed now why is this a bonus airdrop and why is it going to help with hyper evm well for every quest that you complete so for example if we were to do this hyperpi one obviously i haven't completed it what would happen is once you've completed this quest you would actually earn yourself another transaction on hyper evm and an nft because basically for every quest you complete you get an nft which you have to mint on the hyper evm network or the associated network of that quest so basically for every quest that you do complete you can get another transaction and therefore by getting more transactions you're going to help yourself qualify for the hyper liquid airdrop so in conclusion my friends we've shown you over 10 different protocols you can use to maximize your airdrop allocation on hyper liquid now although there are many more we think this is a fantastic guide for you guys to get started and by doing this a few times a week you are definitely going to help yourself secure an allocation now obviously i think there are many crucial factors to keep in mind First is the amount of transactions that you do. So you want to, of course, stack up as many transactions as you possibly can. Second, you, of course, want to build as much volume as possible. This is another crucial factor. The third is, of course, by staking natively on the Hyperliquid Exchange and using the Hyperliquid Exchange as much as you can. If, of course, you're a trader, this is going to be the platform for you. However, you can do things such as vaults X, Y, and Z, of which we show you in another tutorial. But my friends, basically, after that, you just want to explore as many applications as possible because interacting with the ecosystem and exploring it helps to, of course, develop it and, of course, make it a more thriving network. And therefore, by doing so and coming in, being as active as possible, you are definitely going to help yourselves. Now, friends, we hope you've enjoyed this video. We know it's been a long one, but we hope that you get a massive airdrop allocation because Hyperliquid was still the best airdrop in history. So, friends, thank you so much once again, and we'll see you in the next video.